What is good, Mama Squad? And welcome back to our channel. So this is probably gonna be one of my favorite videos that we've ever done because I just get to eat a lot of junk food all day. Yeah, I know. We've been um, very good with our diet, I feel like, and we haven't been steering into like chips and like the bad stuff. We've been trying to avoid this. Like we yeah. have not bought and went to the grocery store to get stuff like this in probably like two years, yeah. three. Yeah. Since our apartment. It's been a minute. It's been a real minute. But today we are doing name brand versus off brand. And as, as you, you can see, see, there's a bunch of different, there's a bunch just, of different variety. And it's just just thing, yeah. <laughs> there's so many different competitors with all of the name brand stuff. And will they be better? Will they be worse? I think they're going to be just as good, if not better, because I feel like if a company gets too big, they start I making it like that. I will say good. though. I don't think anything can beat the original Cheeto Puffs or the Pringles. Hey, don't hate on my cheese doodles, okay? Cheese doodles. Because <laughs> I feel like those might be a good competitor. I don't know though, because like sometimes off brands try to like make it as the same. All right, well, don't taste as good. You know, I don't know. We're gonna see. We we're got a bunch it. of stuff even back here. We got a lot of stuff to test. Do you want to start with orange juice? Oh, we should. We should I'm like, I'm juice. quenched right now, Let's and I that. actually have a good idea. So I personally think that the store made orange. Orange juice is always better oh, than yeah, because it's fresh regular and orange juice. It's and, fresh and I heard that Tropicana, not like, you know, hating on that, but I heard it's not actually good for you. Really? Yeah, I heard like the way that they like make it or just orange juices in general, how it's like processed and stuff. But we're gonna be the judges on taste, see. okay? Mm. I'm excited. Yep. I haven't had orange juice, I feel like, in forever. Mm. Because it has like so much sugars. Yeah, like mm. 22 grams of sugars. I mean, actually, it's really not that bad of like, oh, um, 26 grams of carbs. I feel like that's like, yeah. This has 28 carbs and 20 sugar, so this is better on sugar. Oh, wow. So I actually have a plot twist, Mariah. I want you to close your eyes, turn around. I'm gonna put them in different cups. Right. And I'm gonna see if you can taste the difference. All right. And you're gonna blindly rate which one is better. Okay. Cup A or cup B? Okay. I feel like I'm gonna know because I am very good at finding like pure orange juice and like stuff that's in just like the normal everyday all right, we'll see. I, I uh, feel like I'm gonna win. All right, no peeking. Mob Squad, you gotta remember, cup B, cup A, all right? We're gonna mix them around. We're gonna put them over here. Do you remember which one it is? Yeah, all right. Okay. I can already tell which one's which one's real and which one's not. What? Yeah, How? I could just, by the way, the texture, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, that's a tropic. That's a trop. Oh, and I know this one's a real one. Mm-hmm. It's the real one. How did you know? Because you look at the look at this. You could tell that's freshly squeezed and this one looks like it's already been processed. You see what I mean? It's got the pulp, it's got it just tastes more like I forget real. which one's which. Hmm? No, I'm telling you this one this one's the real. Hold on. So you said that is Tropicana. Tropicana. No, this is Tropicana. No. What? This one is B for blue, and this one is A. I'm gonna try that. Shut them. up. Mm-hmm. That taste doesn't taste. Oh, this one's better this actually. This one's better. A lot what? of these I got from Publix. Um, this is like Publix brand. I know Target has a brand. I know a lot of people have like knockoff brands, but this one's actually better. Yeah. This one tastes kind of nasty. No, it tastes disgusting. I would not ever drink this again. This tastes more real than that one does. Yeah, give me another sip. That's really weird. I would have never guessed that. Well, now we know. Right? <laughs> weird. All right. <laughs> I feel like we save those to the end. You want to save these for I the end? I want that All one right, to be right. the last one. Let's try these off-brand salt and vinegar chips. Are those salt and vinegar too? These are sea salt and vinegar, okay. and this is actually made by the company Veggie Chips. I'm pretty sure they make like those little ones, don't they? Those little, I think like, so. But they're not like a Pringles company. Like Pringles are known for this. Well, that's like a veggie. They created this. Yeah, so. it's like more veggie. Same flavor, just different. What's the different? Does this have the same like similar carbs and stuff? 15, 16, yeah. All right, ready? I feel like Pringles changed up their can. Look, it does, that does not look like the original back in the day. I mean, we just haven't gotten it all. All right, time. compare it. Ready? Already, Pringles looks better. It does look better. Pringles has the um, the looks. Let's see, taste. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. You can't compete with Pringles. Tell me Pringles is better. It's better, but they're very similar, too. I'm taste. Oh, no. You can taste the can in that. You can. This you can't. You can. 
But these are also thinner. These are like thick. These are like thick chips. These are the only other brand of like Pringles looking chips that, I, that I've seen there, so. Nah, team Pringle. So far, name brands are taking the lead right now. Two up. I'm telling you, name brands are where it's at. And I hate when you go to the grocery store and they're all off brands and you're like, oh, is this even gonna taste good? Like. I know. Some off brands are good though. Like I'm not dissing on off brands, but. All right, so this next one, I want Mariah to try. Because you are a root beer fanatic. Root beer fanatic. Mariah oh, loves her root beer. And she it. lately has been um, obsessing over the zero sugar root beer. I will say, I honestly like the zero sugar root beer than no root beer. I want you to turn around for this one. Because this, right. is, this is going one. against Mug. A&W and Mug are the two biggest root beer brands. Baby, can you please make sure you, you know which one? Yes, I got it. All right, pay attention. I'm not paying attention. Not you. Talking to Marble Squad. I'm actually super curious because I feel like this one's going to be way closer than the orange juice. Because the orange juice, the other one had more pulp. So that kind of like stood you. That stood me out, yeah. In the wrong direction. It did. All right, hold on. Low key, I'm already seeing a big difference just in the looks of how these poured. So I'm actually super curious if they taste different. I don't want you to see the bottles because it might give it away. <clears throat> All right. You ready? I'm ready. We got A cup, B cup. A cup, B cup. Big difference in bubbles, uh -huh. right? And I feel like I might already know. Which one do you think visually? I think this is the normal. Okay. It's not. All right, taste them. <laughs> she goes. Hmm. There's definitely a difference. In flavor? Uh -huh. Which one's better? B. Oh, that is the mug. I can tell. And you want to know why I can tell? Because I used to make root beer floats all the time when I was a kid. Me too. And I always had mug. And I could tell it tasted like the root beer floats that I used to eat. Yeah, mug. This one tastes like it doesn't really have a lot of root beer flavor. You can definitely tell it's a knockoff. Yeah. Yeah. This is hands down the better one. And you did, dude, three oh right now. The name brands are taking the lead. We need to we need to spice this up a little bit. So personally, these were me and my dad's favorite. Oh, I hate back this. in the day. Oh. Chips Ahoy. No, I love Chips Ahoy. I don't like those. It's like I don't like the feeling of those, like the texture and like the way those feel. I already know I'm not gonna like those. Are these chewy? No, they're not. Those are chewy. No, they're not. They're not chewy. Open it. Let's see. These are not chewy. Okay, so we're doing Chips Ahoy and normal chocolate chip. That tweaked me out. They don't have the opener on this thing. Oh, really? Yeah, like the normal ones do. You gotta open this sideways. Oh, I love me some Chips Ahoy with milk. Yeah, they're not chewy. Wait, these are actually super close. They are close. Oh my gosh. So this is Chips Ahoy and this is- Not gonna lie, this looks like a better cookie. Mm -mm. No, visually. Uh, visually, I guess. All right, let's see which one's better. I have my hands spoon. <laughs> How is that? <laughs> it's dry, right? It's not a cookie. No, it tastes like something weird. It tastes like cardboard. Like you're eating like a dry saltine cracker with a chocolate chip in it. Mm-mm. <laughs> no, wait. Tell me what it tastes. Oh, that's horrible. Wash it down. Mm-mm, guys. All right. I'm sorry. These are terrible. Off-brand. Yeah. Nope. No, they taste like almost like toothpaste. I mean, I think they look like a better they cookie. They look like a better cookie. I think they do. Mm -mm. But like, it tastes horrible. Horrible. They're, they're dry. They're they have super this, like, dry. They have this like like feeling like the like the like, the, like you just ate like ooh. a chemical. Yeah, that's what it tastes like. And these are softer. These are harder. The off-brand chips are way softer. Way better. Mmm. 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 I'm sorry. Name brand is winning, guys. I used to eat these cookies and milk. Oh, no. Yes, I said that. My dad used oh to eat them when after school. I'd eat them. Oh, my goodness. I used to eat them any time of the day. After school, before school, during dinner time, 2 a.m., doesn't matter. All right, now let's do these waters, but I kind of want to do, um, just drink it out. Yeah. So this is spring water. Okay, there's a lot of people that can tell the difference between water. The one that I could taste is Aquafina. I feel like that one, I could taste like the difference. Mm -hmm. And we did get a filter system in our house and our water is so good that when we don't have our water, I could taste the difference. Our water is better than bottle of water. Yeah, it is. Because even though bottle of water is super um, purified, if you get like, you know, the purified water, which you want, the plastic and like the temperature when they're like shipping the bottles, the plastic actually contaminates the water a little more. So it's still better for you than drinking like out of the faucet. Yeah. But 
Our water is literally better than this at our house. Spring water? I don't even know if I'm be able to tell the part. Which All right, let's better. see. Smart water versus Publix spring water. That's not Publix. This is Publix. This oh, is off brand. That's Publix spring this water. is Publix. That is name brand, smart water. I could definitely taste a different. I like that one better. Mm -mm. No? This one's distilled. This one tastes like. This one tastes like it's. Uh, um, I like spring water. Softened. Like the water is like. Wa I like has like water softener. I think I like the spring. I think I like this one better. I think I like this one better. It's smart. Yeah, I like this, this one. Because this one's. But that was not bad. I feel like this one tastes the most filtered. Mm -hmm. I feel like I could taste the filter mm -hmm. in that. And I feel like I don't trust water. I heard like Dasani has a really bad Oh, Dasani tastes rap. So I don't trust that. So I, I feel like I don't trust smart water either. And maybe I'm wrong. I know it's a personal preference, but I would say I don't let's give the point. Water. Let's give the point to off brand water. I'm gonna give the spring water. Yeah, because they, they you know they deserve a point. Yeah, they, they do deserve they've been point. sucking this whole video. <laughs> we think and then I can already tell you right now which one I'm choosing. And it's gonna be probably this. We think <laughs> yes. Nothing compares to that. But we have to try it because I'm curious. My name might taste similar, but I. It might taste better. You never know. Just the way the packaging looks, so I don't know. You can just tell off brand. Like, yeah, you this, can. It, it just looks like. You, it's, Let's put the chip You can see it so easy. Ooh. Mm. All right. We did used to have dots in them, right? Did they? I'm pretty sure. I feel like I remember that. I don't think they had, they had dots. Ooh, they smell the same. Mm. Wait, actually? Is it good? Try it. It's actually really good. Hold on. Wait, actually? Very similar. Wait. Hold on. I'm Those are full. a little harder. I'm getting full here. Hmm. That's a hard pick. Not gonna lie, these are way harder. Uh, is this how they're, they're cooked? No, these are the original. These are harder, like. Oh, they're both baked. Guys, they're very similar. I approve the off-brand. I feel like they're very, very, very similar. Like if you wanted something more like off, no. that is, I don't know. I'm going with these. I don't know about you, but I used to always eat wheat thins with that spray cheese. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And oh my god, me too. This would taste way better with them because they're softer. I don't know, they both taste very similar to me. No, I'm telling you. I'm team both. For me, I want to give the points off. The off-brand is that is pretty freaking good. Snacks. And you know this box makes it look nastier than they actually are. Like they're actually they really freaking packaging. good. Yeah. Let's go help them get a new packaging because we can like the doodles, they have good packaging. Look at that. Pretty good. Yeah. Cheese doodles. I think we give the point to Opera. Alright, we'll do it. Because it actually is super, super it good. It was actually really good. I was shocked about that. Like, I wouldn't even know a difference mm -hmm. if you put this in the Wheaton's box. So that's like, what, 3 2? Yeah. Uh oh. Right. Lay's, which, and then these um, potato chips. So these are both potato chips. Take the plunge. Now we're going to see which one tastes better. I feel like potato chips, you can't go wrong with either or. But look at these, have the, these are the ruffles. Alright, here we got the regular ruffles. My bad. Those are actually really good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, wait. I feel like Lay's has more flavor, but... Yeah, but it's also a different type of chip. I yeah. accidentally bought... They're, yeah, these are different. I should have bought the Rubbles. These are more salted. They're more salted, yeah, and I like salt. <laughs> but these are... Dang. These are pretty, pretty freaking good, yeah. Oh, wow, I'm actually shocked. Those are actually good. These taste exactly like Ruffles. Oh, you do taste a lot like Ruffles. You should have gotten Ruffles. Oh, I should have. Oh, it's the red bag. Yeah, you, you know. Up. I wasn't even thinking. I just saw potato. And I was right. like, oh, potato chip. It's all right. I say 50 50. Yeah, either way, they're made out of potatoes. Should so. I, wait, honestly, anything that's 50 50, we should just mark off brand because if they can compete with then they, Lay's. Then they work. Then they're then they're just as good. So I say we're 3 3 right now. I yeah. think we're tied up. And the last is we have the tie breaking Cheetos oh, or cheese Oh my god. I'm excited. I've been waiting to eat these. I'm full right now, but I'm actually excited. First of all, who in their right mind would call it cheese doodle? Like, I would never. They probably look like a little doodle. Never. I would make a cheese noodle, oh, but doodle? Guys, like, where's I, you get doodle from? You want to know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of my childhood when I would go to a water park and me and my mom, my mom would take me and we would, we would pack chips and we I, we oh. always had these chips with me these when you go to water parks. These so good. Do you know what? That's weird because I remember eating these in the pool when I was young. That's weird that you mentioned that. Yeah, those are like but, the those are like the snacks you eat. But when these get wet, they like disintegrate. I'm gonna try this one first. Mm. I'm gonna try this one first, actually. Mm. That's, uh, Hold on. You're just dissing them cheese doodles. Let's see. That is. Wait, those the aftertaste is a little like different though. 
You can't beat this. Mm -mm. You <laughs> can't beat Cheetos, dude. Oh my god. I will say though, I am gonna give Cheetos, Cheetos Little some love. This yeah. is actually pr a pretty freaking good These offer. These are darker here. Okay, no, those are harder too. Mm -hmm. And the aftertaste is not that good. And not that. They're not good, bad. but it's, the aftertaste is not as good as the Cheeto. No, the Cheeto, oh. Mmm. Hey, is it just me or when you're little, did you just stuff your mouth with these mm -hmm. that like all like builds up in your gums and stuff? Mm -hmm. And then you like. Ew, I need to go in and like, yeah. But that's so good though, still. So, come on. I don't know. I'm the best part. And, like licking your fingers off. Mmm. Mm. And I, I know licking your fingers is probably so disgusting, but. I just want to die. Come on. I just want to sit here and eat those for us, man. I was full, but I can never be full for Cheeto Puffs. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have to go hard in the gym next week. Yeah, just a little bit. Good thing we did cardio, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it right now. <laughs> Ew! Don't have to make noise. I wasn't making noise. I slobbered all over your finger. Ew! Wait, so are we just like leaving it a tie? For what these two? I nah. Yeah, I say Cheetos wins. I say Cheetos wins, and we're gonna cap this challenge off with name brands four and off brands. Three. So name brands did win, and it's not a big surprise. Name brands weren't horrible. I'm not gonna lie, they were actually pretty freaking decent. But, but name brands are name brands for a reason. I mm -hmm. feel like they definitely probably put a lot more effort into making them like perfect. Yeah. And they probably like every time they come out with a new product, feed it to like a million people just so they could tweak it here and there to make it like perfect. But exactly. But you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was actually really fun to kind of like put it up to the test and see what actually is better. I'm surprised that off brands. Uh, Actually, we're terrible. The only one that was horrible, terrible was Chips Ahoy. The cookie? Uh, no, no. I would the mess cookie. up a chocolate chip cookie though. How I could make a better up? one. I could literally put dough in the oven right now and make a better cookie than whatever that is. Yeah, it was horrible. That was not good at all. So they need to up their game. Uh -huh. Don't buy Publix uh -uh. Chips Ahoy cookies. But sorry, anything guys. else, you know. We love you guys so freaking much. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below if you have any other videos, challenges, vlogs that you would like us to do in the future. Also, we just posted another set of Instagram photos of our engagement shoot, our second engagement shoot. So make sure to hit us up on Instagram and tell us what you think. But we will see you guys in the next video. But until then, peace. peace. Love, Love you guys. guys.